Hello, my name is Dee and today I uh, will be teaching you how I made this granny square skirt. This was a request from one of my YouTube subscribers so I decided to grant her wish by making the tutorial for it. So grab your materials and let's get started. So for this project you're going to need four granny squares. I know most of you already know how to make granny squares but I'm still going to take you through on how I do it and then shortly I'll be showing you how to take the measurements for it so yeah I'm going to show you how to do this and then we continue from there with the rest of our skirt so we're going to put this aside grab the color that you're going to be using so i'll be using these three colors green orange and yellow so you're going to make a ring with your first color and then you're going to insert your hook pull up a loop hold this so it doesn't get undone and then you're going to chain up three and then you're going to yarn over make make two double crochets into the circle or the ring the chain three is counting as a double crochet chain two back in the same circle make three double crochets chain two back in that same circle make three double crochets so what we're doing now is making the base of our granny square we are making the four corners so this the chain two the first chain two here is the first corner this is the second one and now this is the third so chain two and back in the same space make three double crochets so that's one two and three and then you can pull this strand tight to close the ring like that and what you're going to do here is chain two and you're going to slip stitch on top of the third chain you know this can be a little too tight but there. so make a slip stitch in the third chain and at the end of this row you have created these four spaces where we're going to work into so chain one and cut the yarn I always leave a long tail to weave in my ends because I hate the tying and cutting. All right, so we're not going up off to our second color. So you pull this tight to close the ring and then later you can weave it in to make sure that it doesn't come out. So now I'm off to my orange color. So make a knot with your second color and attach it on one of the corners. So I'm going to attach mine here. Okay. So chain three. In that same space, make two double crochets. That's one and two and then chain two and then back in that same space make three double crochets. It's one, two and three. So once you're done with that, we are not chaining here. 
you're going to yarn over and go direct in the next space and make three double crochets chain two back in the same space make three double crochets again we're not chaining here you're going to yarn over go direct into the next space and place the three double crochets chain two back in the same space make three double crochets and repeat the same thing into the last chain two space so place the three double crochets chain two three more double crochets all in the same space okay and your work should be looking like that so like i said we're not chaining we're going to be chaining only when making the corners so you're going to um, slip stitch on top of the chain three slip stitch and then you're going to slip stitch on top of the next stitch like that and on top of the next stitch and then in the chain two space so we've been slip stitching so we can get to the to the chain two space and then you're going to chain three then yarn over in this same space you're going to make two double crochets because the chain three is counting as a double crochet so we have three of them here then chain two yarn over back in the same space make three double crochets now chaining yarn over and then you're going to make three double crochets into the next space place the three double crochets then yarn over and into the next chain two space make three double crochets chain two three double crochets in the same space yarn over make three double crochets into the next space there yarn over and into the next space make three double crochets chain two back in the same space make three double crochets yarn over into the next space make three double crochets yarn over and make three double crochets into the chain two space make three chain two back in the same space make three double crochets yarn over this is the last space we have so you're going to insert your hook and make three double crochets in that space just like we've been doing with the rest like that and then you're going to slip stitch on top of the chain three so make a slip stitch there and then slip stitch on top of the next stitch and slip stitch on top of the next and into the chain two space and then chain three to start your next row which is which would be the 
the fourth row this was the first two three and you would have to continue like that so as you go your granny square will be growing bigger and bigger just like this one so on your next row you're going to make three double crochets into these spaces and making three double crochets chain two three double crochets in the corners okay so you're going to continue with this and you're going to end the row with the main color with the color that's going to be the main color of your project you're going to make this you're going to make four of these okay and I'll show you an example here so let's say this is going to be the front part of my skirt and this measures up to 14 and a half inches so let's say the measurements you have is uh, 40 you're going to make two of these and they should measure up to 20 inches Okay, and because it's going to stretch that stretch is going to work as your allowance Like the allowance you you might need for for your skirt. I Hope that makes sense, but that's what you're going to do. You're going to divide your hip measurement into two and then make the front and the back so if it's 40 this would be 20 and the back part would also be 20 inches long go ahead and complete your granny square don't forget the last row should be the color for your main for the main project so go ahead and complete your granny square I'll meet you back once you have that completed and then I will teach you how to join and then we continue with the rest so what you're going to do is this is the right side and this is the wrong side so the right sides are going to face each other like this so now this is the wrong side this is the wrong side and this is also the wrong side and we are now going to join starting from the the chain two spaces for both sides okay so you're going to attach a yarn and get a piece of yarn here all right so we're now joining our granny squares just uh, feel free to use any stitch that's easy for you. I chose to use my tapestry needle for this. So yeah, I'm tying this here to secure the yarn. And then you're going to get your tapestry needle and use that to uh, join the granny squares. You can use single crochet or slip stitches for this. So you're going to insert the tapestry needle in the front loops of your granny square and do the same with the back piece and then you're going to pass the yarn on top of your tapestry needle and pull it through as you're seeing in the video. Pull it tight to make sure that it's secure and repeat the same into the next stitches until you join the whole thing together so yeah it's easy So after joining, you're going to use your tapestry needle to weave in the excess yarn, as you're seeing in the video. So 
So after joining the two granny squares, you're going to join this part as well and do the same with this and then it will come a one piece all right so you're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did here and then i'll get back once we have joined both sides together and then i will be showing you how to continue from there um by now you must have finished joining the whole thing together as you can see so now this is going to be this part is going to be around your hips okay so we're now going to make the waist part of our skirt okay so you're going to get your main color or whatever color you're using you can change this in any way you prefer to do it so you're going to insert your hook in one of the corners and then attach your yarn chain three back in that space you're going to place there two double crochets that's one and two the chain three counts as a double crochet and then you're going to yarn over don't skip this next space here place the three double crochets as well like that and then you're going to yarn over and make three double crochets into this next space so yarn over and make three double crochets into the next space that's what you should have yarn over make three double crochets into the next space so basically what you're doing is keeping the three double crochets OMG it looks like I did two double crochets here but please ignore it it was a mistake I can't take out right now so make three double crochets into the next space yarn over skip the next stitches and make three double crochets into the next space yarn over skip the next three double crochets and make three double crochets into the next space and you're going to repeat this So when you get to these uh, joining points, this is where we joined from, as you can see, you place three double crochets in this space and you do the same thing into the next. So yarn over and make three double crochets into the next space. That's three. Yarn over, make three double crochets into the next space. So continue with the three double crochets, skip three, three double crochets, skip three, three double crochets until you get back to where we started from. So this skirt is super easy guys, because this is now this is what we're going to be repeating. Like three double crochets, skip three three double crochets into the next space and repeat the 
this is the last one so once you get here you're going to slip stitch on top of the chain three or you can slip stitch in the between the chain and the and the second double crochet and then once you get here you're going to make slip stitches so make a slip stitch on top of the next stitch and slip stitch on top of the next and then you're going to slip stitch into this space here between the three um, the two little clusters so insert your hook and slip stitch and then you're going to chain three yarn over in that same space make two double crochets So that's three of them because the chain three is counting as a stitch. Yarn over, skip the next three double crochets and make three double crochets into the next space. Skip the next three and make three double crochets into the next space and you're going to repeat that you keep skipping the three double crochets I turn all the way around I'll meet you back at the beginning here so when you get to the end make your three double crochets into this very last space and then slip stitch on top of the chain or between the chain and the next double crochet and then slip stitch on top of the next double crochet slip stitch on top of the next and then you're going to slip stitch between the two sets okay like that and then chain three to start your next row and you're going to repeat this row that we just completed and you're going to make it until you see that it's that that what you have made is enough for for the from the hip to the waist okay because this is going to be the hip part of it and then you're going to add a few more inches to get to the west all right so continue with that I will also do the same and then I'll get back and show you guys how many rows I have made and then we shall continue with the downer part of our project so this skirt is a, a straight skirt and um, your figure is what is going to give it uh, the shape that you need because it's going to stretch okay and then we're going to add a string around the waist and that is going to help us to um, tie around the waist so everything can fit in if you have any questions please ask in, in the comment section below and I'll get back to you so I'm back and this is what I have so far so now this is going to be the waist part of our skirt so i have changed colors around the waist i want to end the row with the green so you don't have to do this if you don't want to so i wanted to do the very last row with you guys so so once you uh slip stitch here at the end you're going to chain three so chain three and then you're going to yarn over and into the next stitch you're going to make a front double crochet so a front double crochet you yarn over like this insert your hook between the two stitches and then push the next one in front as you're seeing in the video and then pull up a loop like that and then 
make a double crochet so that's a front double crochet so in the next stitch we're going to make a back post double crochet you yarn over pass your hook at the back and then in front and then push that stitch at the back and then pull up a loop and make a double crochet and then you're going to repeat that in the next stitch making a front and a back double crochet and we are doing this only for one row So once you get to the end of the row, you're going to slip stitch, sorry, you're going to slip stitch, chain one, and you can cut that off. And you're going to make a chain which we're going to pass around these front and back post double crochet. So our chain is going to go through that. So now our, our waist part is done. So we're now going to work on the bottom part of our skirt. Get your main color or however way you're trying to uh, change the colors. So make a knot. I'm going to attach mine here. So you're going to do the exact same thing we did on when starting uh, this upper part. So you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Go in that same space and make two more double crochets. And then into this next space, you're going to place the three double crochets as well. And then make three double crochets in all the spaces so you keep skipping three and making three double crochets into the next space skip three and make three into the next space just like how we have been doing skip three make three double crochets So once you get to the end of the row, you're going to slip stitch and then make slip stitches until you get to the end of these three stitches. So like until you get to this space there, and then you're going to chain three yarn over and make two double crochets in that same space. yarn over skip three and into the next make three double crochets and then you're going to continue with this pattern until you get to the uh, length that you want for your skirt so I'm back and so far this is what we have guys I made a total of 17 rows and as you can see I ended the row with my green color so what you're going to do is you're going to cut the yarn here so chain one and cut that off After you're going to make a chain long enough to go around your waist and you're going to use your tapestry needle to weave it through the back, the front and back post double crochet that we made. 
you're going to use this to tie around your waist and you can have the two granny squares either in front or you can have one in front and have the other two in the sides like this so in this video here i show you how i make my tassels uh, this is how I do it. Simply follow the video of what I'm doing so that you can also make yours. Other than that, this is all we had for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Bye!